Hello everybody, welcome to MT Guitar. Thank you for joining us today. We're doing another edition of Pink Floyd Friday with Pigs on the Wing Part 1, which was the first track off of uh, Pink Floyd's album Animals. It's a song written by Roger Waters and apparently it was about his wife at the time. It had to do with the saying, if pigs could fly. Sort of a love song and um, really a gentle song, which is a contrast from the rest of the album, which is a bit dark uh, compared to that. So one thing I've always loved about this song ever since I heard it when I really fell in love with Pink Floyd is the strumming on this song is, is really great and there are these nice sus chords that happen throughout and it really it was something that I was very fascinated with when I was learning guitar. So I would put this in the beginner category and you know strumming is something you will not regret working on, on at any level of your development and strumming is really sort of the bare bones of, of good rhythm guitar playing. And um, also we have some nice chords to learn here as well. So I recommend you check out this lesson. There'll be a tab for this. You can follow along with the lesson by checking out the Patreon. And I really appreciate your support. Also, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And thank you, everybody. Really appreciate it. So with that, let's get started on this lesson and zoom in. All right, so we'll start with this intro. And I'm going to teach you the exact chords that were used for the recording, which is important because it'll help us with the sus chords. So we want to start with this G, and we're going to do the, the type of G where you play it with the third finger, second finger, and pinky without the second string, so the second string is open. All right, and let's cover the strumming pattern that's going to kind of repeat for all the chords. It'll be down, down, up, down, 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 up. The G. So notice how the the loud strums are the down, down, up, down, 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 up, down. So the, the down is kind of louder than the down, up, down after is a little softer. Now we go to a C, but we keep the pinky on the third fret first string. And we just play a C chord here. And we go down, up, down, up. So. And on the last up there, you kind of release the C so that we hear the G chord more. So all together, here's the C, repeat, and one more time. Okay. Now the fourth time, we stay on the G and tell the lyrics. If you have a so that's the introduction. Let's cover that. C. G. C. Third time. Here's the fourth time. We'll stay on the G. If you'd have a... Okay, good. Now for the verse, we're going to do a regular C, but we can play the E bass. All right, which is kind of cool because we're gonna we're gonna make use of that bass with a sus chord. So we play the C chord, but don't be afraid to play that sixth string. If you'd ever care. same string pattern, so it's down, down, up, down, 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 up, down. Now for the down, up, down, up, we want third fret fourth string for a C sus four. Okay, down, up, down, and then when you go up, you kind of release it back to the second fret back to a C chord. So the melody is da, 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 da. and we hear that even in the middle of that big chord there. So from the C, if you'd have a here it comes. Down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, and then a G chord. Alright, so one more time. If you'd have a here it is. Then we go to a G, but this time we, we're not going to do the same type of G. We're going to do the third finger here, first 
finger, sorry, second finger on the bass, first finger, and then the type of G where you play the third fret, second string, third fret, first string. Same strumming pattern. Down, down, up, down, 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 up, down. And then third fret hammer on to fifth string. So. Down, down hammer, up, down, up, release back to second fret. That's that melody. So. Okay, let's take it from the C. Ready? If you'd ever care. Here it is. Here's the G. What happens to me? This type of G with the third fret. Good. Repeat. Same thing as before. For you. And the same thing as before. Now we get to the chorus, a new section here with different chords. So after that, G, we would, we go to A chord. So when we sing this line, we have to be doing this uh, open, completely open chord to the, to the second fret, to the A chord twice. So it's zigzag away, open second, open border but when we land, we land actually on an A7 with the pinky on the third fret for a string. So, through the A7 A. So, let's take it from the beginning of the A. We would zigzag away, open second through the A7 A. Okay, let's do that one more time and we'll cover the strumming. We would down, down, up, down, up, down. Down up down up down up down down up down up down down up down up down up down up. So you can tell the strumming is a little more active that part. Now we go to G chord, like this G chord. We go down down up down down up like the intro to a C chord. So Asia Malay and then C chord glancing down down is all we have time for before the D chord. Occasionally, C, C, D, then to G. Now we do this G for eight beats, which is kind of tricky because it's a long time. So let's take it from occasionally and I'll count out the beats before we go to the A minor, which is the next chord. Occasionally, glancing up through the ray. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we go to an A minor. Wonder in F, A minor, F, C. So that's I minor, F, to A minor, to F. And then it goes to a C. So let's play that section and then we'll get to the C in rhythm. Wonder in which of the above is to blame. Here's the C. And then we go to C over B, which is just second fret, fifth string fourth string open. We only have time for a down up before the A minor. Here it is. A minor. And then D chord. To D sus on that beat. Back to D. The pigs all the way. And then it ends on this G with that chord. Why don't we run through that whole chorus starting from the A and I'll call out the chords. All right, ready? We would Here's the G. Occasionally C glance and D then to G. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A minor wonder in F, which of A minor to F. C over B here to A minor. And then the D. The sus right there through pigs on the wing to G down, up, down. slow down and final strum. Okay, making sense. So, um, a short song, only a minute and a half, and uh, we went through it pretty thoroughly. 
So if you're a beginner, hopefully that's clear. And um, let me know if there's any questions and enjoy. All right, well done, everybody. Definitely uh, a lot of fun to work on a Pink Floyd song for Pink Floyd Friday here. So uh, go ahead and subscribe to MT Guitar and make sure to, to say hello and uh, leave a comment if you'd like. Other than that, have a wonderful day and we'll see you next lesson. Bye.